hello all uh, in this video we will validate in which scenario um, static lookup gets fail and uh, using dynamic lookup how we can uh, overcome that situation or that particular error so uh, we have mapping ready uh, in this particular mapping uh, this particular lookup is currently the static one we haven't uh, enabled the dynamic lookup uh, what we'll do is we'll create a situation wherein this particular mapping will get fail so let's say in source table currently we have uh, one record like uh, uh, one stuxa and location is pune so and in target table we don't have any record we'll run this particular workflow and we'll see what happens workflow got completed successfully we'll see whether data got inserted at target level yes data got inserted at target level what we'll do is we'll change the source value from Pune to Sanjos Uh, source set location equal to we'll commit the record so now the uh, currently there is only one record having id as one and at target level uh, there is a unique uh, index defined on id column so basically this Pune has to get updated with Sanjos. We'll run this particular workflow and we'll see whether it's getting updated or not. Mapping got completed successfully. We'll verify the records at target table. Yes, the records got updated. Now what we'll do is instead of one record we'll create two record at target level one is with Sanjos and another with Pune so our requirement is uh, currently this user stack server was in Sanjos and he got transferred to Pune and uh, if there is no record at tra target table what should happen is the final output we require is one Estaxa and Pune because uh, previously he was at Sanjos and after that he got transferred to Pune so there has to be only one record and that that was the second one one Estaxa and Pune that has to be a second one so we will verify it we will run the same mapping again and we will see Yeah, now it got failed giving error as unique constraint violated so what informatica tried to do is uh, when informatica created a static lookup in that static lookup there was no record because at target level on which uh, we have created the lookup there was uh, no record exist so in the static lookup uh, in data cache and even at uh, index cache there was no record so as and when informatica read first record when a stack says and just it verified that particular record at static lookup and uh, as it uh, could not find any record at static at data cache or index cache it uh, marked that particular record as insert so this particular record got inserted one when uh, it encountered another record one is taxa pune it again verified that same record in data cache and dash cache and as there was no record exist in uh, static lookup cache it again marked the uh, next record as insert what happened is informatica inserted first record correctly at target level but when it tried to insert again the same uh, second record oracle gave an error saying 
unique constraint violated it because id1 was already was already inserted by informatica and it, it's again trying to insert uh, same id uh, only change in the location so basically the second record should got updated and not got inserted so this is the drawback of static lookup we'll see how we can overcome this situation using the dynamic lookup so we don't have to do many changes while creating the dynamic lookup we just have to check this thing so when we are uh, when we have to transfer static lookup to dynamic lookup we just have to check this particular checkbox and as and this insert else update i will tell you the significance of this inserted update strategy over here by default all source rows uh, at informatica will be treated as insert and in in our mapping there is no update strategy defined over here so what are the records coming to the router are all of insert type so in the case of dynamic lookup what it will do is if rows see in the description they have written uh, given like insert the record if not found in the cache else update it so if record if informatica did not find any record in the cache it will update that particular record so will connect the remaining port and so when you are transforming static lookup to dynamic lookup one new port gets created automatically that we will call as new lookup row so we have to change the group value like if this new lookup row has value equal to 1 that means informatica has marked that particular row as insert and if that value is 2 that means informatica has that marked that particular row as update one and if there is no change in in the row informatica will mark this new lookup row with value as 0 we'll save this particular mapping saying that it's invalid because Refresh the workflow. Save the workflow. We'll just will verify the records at source level and records at target level. So our aim is that uh, the two records at source level are like this, and uh, at target level we need records. like one stack seven pune so we'll run this particular workflow yeah so if you can see over here two records were got read by informatica from source level one got inserted and another got updated so we'll verify whether record really got updated or what is the final output at target level so yes so this is what our intended output is what we'll do is we'll just verify what informatica has done actually so our tracing level is actually verbose so we'll just validate the session logs over here this is 
the lookup SQL Informatica has created by default and by using, using this Informatica has created the data cache and index cache so all three columns you can see in this SQL query which is ordered by ID because ID is the lookup condition that's why it came at order by class we'll verify the session logs further this is a SQL source qualifier informatica has created default These are the records at router level. So at router level, informant at router level there are two records. And over here, uh, first record with uh, location at Sanjos and second record with location as Pune. And in first record, new lookup row value is one, and in second uh, record, new lookup row value is two. That means first record Informatica has marked as insert because what would have happened is when informatica read first record informatica read first record it will validated that record at data cache and index cache whether that particular record exists there or not as at that time there were no records present at data cache or index cache informatica has marked that particular record as insert and along with that informatica updated data cache index cache when informatica read second record with location as pune it again verified that, rec that particular record whether it exists at data cache or index cache so in over here informatica found that there is a change in the location as this particular record exists id and name is already there but there is a change in the location so informatica has marked that particular record with update and that's the reason first record got inserted and second record got updated now what we'll do is we'll run same workflow again and we'll see what the output is So in this case informatica read two records and all two records went into update so we'll see what had happened so if you can see here earlier our earlier our uh, record at target level was one stuxai pune when informatica read first record it was Sanjos so it has marked that particular record with update again and at the same time it has updated the data cache and index cache when informatica read second record it was the location of uh, that is Pune that's the reason informatica has again uh, marked that particular record as update because there is a change in the location earlier it was Sanjos and that got updated to Pune now so that's the reason all records were got updated to we went into update update instance will yeah so this is what the last record is so this is how uh, dynamic lookup cache is getting used uh, to avoid or to overcome such situations thanks for watching this video